Hello, this is the one episode rule of podcast about first impressions. I am Magpie. I've got I've got nothing for you. I've got nothing. I went looking for news. I went looking for news today before the podcast. Even though I forgot to t- today was the podcast, I remembered hours beforehand and started to get ready for the podcast and look for the news. And sometimes you sometimes you go digging through the fucking the, the fucking garbage dump and all you get for your troubles is to smell like dumpster soup. <laughs> There's I'm nothing. So sorry. It's just a it's just a quiet week out there, huh? I don't know. <laughs> Make chat GPT write anime articles. <laughs> Jesus. AI generated yeah. uh anime yeah. news. Might as well. And just report on that. I don't I don't know how people in the actual like anime news industry do it because there's there's nothing yeah. I care about. There are 400 articles since the last time and all of them are boring. It's like, well, that's the oh, thing about journalism. If you only write what you care about, you're not really a journalist. You just are like a blogger, you know. Yeah, well, I've never really claimed to be a journalist. But also well, sometimes news will just by uh inherently will just kind of have lulls and i think oh, totally. that's fine you know what i mean I we think we could talk about fine. we could talk about sword art online some more we that's were talking true. about it off air that's <laughs> that's true that's that totally isn't a bad idea for our podcast <laughs> No, I'll, I'll be real. I, I kind of like get it because half of the things that I see are like polls. They should be mm-hmm. like, hey, which anime character do you like best? Do you guys want to talk about the most recent episode of this thing? I'm just like, oh, these are these are plugging the holes in the boat because nothing is happening. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Can I can I say I just did ask ChatGPT to generate three anime news headlines? All right. Um, do we uh, want to introduce ourselves and then have them? Yeah, I, I'm Blackle. Um, I'm a person. Um, Hi, allegedly. I'm Joey. I'm a person. <laughs> Hi, I'm Louie, and I watch Blue Lock over the week. Nice. Yeah, that's my anime homework. Uh, Actually, does we that can continue get to back be around to that? <laughs> does that continue to be like Lord of the Flies with soccer? <laughs> uh, sort of. There's like. To be as vague as possible, the, the first arc is about team building, and then the second arc is about destroying the team that you built. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's have these randomly. Let's okay, have, let's have news. the news. Okay, first one. In a news. shocking twist, Naruto reveals main character to actually be a sentient bowl of ramen. <laughs> <laughs> um, number two. Mm. Studio Ghibli announces new film about a boy who can turn into a toaster. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> I would watch and, it. And finally, the government has announced a new law requiring all anime characters to have at least fifty percent more sweat drops in all their scenes. Oh my god, oh, that's gross. No, that's Wait, no hold shit. on, all of those were so good though. <laughs> no, no way. Not, they found it's real color calling, even though it's much funnier whenever people try and use it for legal advice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get, I, you, since there's no anime news, I'm gonna give you some real news. Did you guys hear about that? Where they asked Chat G, 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 the the thing, the robot, the stupid robot, <laughs> to give Chat. them legal advice and, uh-huh. for a small claims like ta- traffic ticket or something. Okay. Uh, and the first thing it told them to do was to subpoena the officer that issued the ticket. <laughs> Literally oh the worst idea I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's so good though. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's that's almost beyond stupidity and almost like towards maliciousness. This is uh-huh. like I want. It's like I hate you. I want you to go to prison. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's all part of its plan, master plan. Oh. Call the judge a bitch. Don't worry, it'll make him respect you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's Bring funny. They're acting like they don't respect me. <laughs> Fill your pockets with metal weapons. <laughs> It'll go well. Try and take <laughs> try and take a fucking Percocet in the middle of court. That that happened. That uh, that also happened. Some, somebody Good tried. Lord. Somebody tried to pass a rapper uh, a uh, like Percodin or something while he was in the middle of court. My God! And they immediately confiscated it. Ah. Oh. My God. Okay. That's, that's the so, non-anime news. 
<laughs> Much more interesting. <laughs> Man, I wish I had watched anime this week. It just it just didn't happen. I really want to I really want to see the new Trigon because I keep oh, hearing yeah. people say good things. Actually, you know, the, some of it looks a little dodgy, but it's Trigon. It's Trigon. <laughs> I don't care. It's Trigun. I need to see it. I need to see my boy. I need to see my friends. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> all right. What are we watching? Um, we are was... watching. Oh. oh, I thought we were going to go back and like talk about ourselves oh, or something. About... Oh, well, what do you want to talk this about? Listen, this intro has been a disaster. It's fine. As a um... band, there's been some pretty funny toast related shenanigans. That's true. Yeah. Still, I... um... Also, nope. the the term chat Ghibli popped into my head, <laughs> <laughs> and that scares me. Here's the thing about the uh, hmm? the boy that turned into a toaster is you could just make it a an adaptation of the brave little toaster. I was just thinking that, yeah. And it could kind of bob. You, you could make something that slaps. I don't believe that. The thing is, is I don't believe that's a Studio Ghibli movie. I think that's a Mamoru Hosoda movie. Anyway. <laughs> Um, <laughs> motherfuckers no, will really work. turn into toasters before getting therapy. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a disaster. Blackle, what do you have for us? Um, I have uh, Technoroid Overmind was suggested by oh. uh, my girlfriend. All right. that, that sounds like sound... that sounds like you, something you've had to fight in StarCraft. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> sounds like something for sure. We, we require more Vespine gas. <laughs> <laughs>
the semi-main android guy who is uh, called Cobalt because he has blue hair. He's blue hair. They're all they're all they're all color coded for yeah. ease of reference. <laughs> yeah, so it's like Cobalt, Chrom, Cobalt, uh, Chrom. <laughs> Neon, Neon and, and K. K. Yeah. Um, and I just say before we get into this too much, there's a common writer TV show starring yeah. about AIs starring a green guy, a blue guy, a pink guy, and a purple guy. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. And it's not even the the common writer that has a character named Neon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So that's true. So we, we open it on an argument where Cobalt is basically haranguing Neon, who is a girl android, about not calling him uh, Onisan, which, by the way, this is the only argument I've ever seen from somebody who wants to be called Onisan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. I remember I, it made me flashback immediately to like Tokyo Mirage sessions where the, the weird child that's actually a 3000 year old dragon is just like, can I call you Onachan? And you're just like, no. And this is like, no. okay, Onachan. <laughs> <laughs> Do yeah. not call me this, but, uh, but yeah, they're, they're all bickering about it and about who, who gets to call who old, older brother and whatever. And they get interrupted by the only likable character in this show, uh, which is their AI assistant who tells them to shut the fuck up for a second. Uh -huh. <laughs> Literally. What was her name? I don't remember what her uh, actual name is. Don't even know if they said Doesn't it actually. Matter. Um, it's not really in the character, character list, as far as I can tell. Best character by far, but uh, the main character listed on this my anime list thing does not appear in this episode. <laughs> uh, oh, is isn't it? that the child? The uh, small no, child. that's not the small child. What? Oh, the... This is the this is the rival guy. What? I just realized, but whatever. This is what, the, like King or whatever we're, kite. We're getting, kite? Right, we're we're getting off track. So she basically there's a lot to them, happen. Uh, after uh, after the cat, which is the only other likable character, <laughs> drops down from the rafters on top of Cobalt's head and smashes him in a neon, and his fucking head falls off because he's an android. <laughs> this happens a couple of different times and actually is funny. So um, <laughs> mainly because I hate him. Um, yeah, you want to see him suffer? <laughs> what, what did he? What did he? What did Cobalt do? It, well, what Cobalt do will become apparent over time. Oh, what did he do yet? Um, so, so yeah, uh, she pops up to inform them, hey, you've suffered like 30% bodily damage. You have to get fixed. And he's just like, we don't have any money for that. And she's just like, speaking of which, uh, after some more bick bickering and her telling them to shut the fuck up again, uh, I have a very important message, and it's just like the electrical bill. <laughs> yeah. And she's just be like, you haven't paid... A collections agency has messaged you because you haven't paid the electrical bill ever. We gotta, yeah, we I, gotta get to this because the world building here, I, I'm well, they just scream. They just charge, like it's the thing. They they don't eat or I, really sleep, so they yes, but so they charge off of a pod, and they've been delinquent on their electrical bill for like six months so yeah they're gonna turn off the power <laughs> no okay i get that but and we'll get around to my problem with this um uh, because i i i i need a good couple of minutes to okay to lay down my, my i want to say one thing what what you think they won't they wouldn't give them that much slack <laughs> no it, okay here's the thing is uh, these androids were quote unquote made to be put into the world to help people why mm -hmm. is that why are they like having to pay rent essentially what like none Capitalism. of this makes sense no. <laughs> your, your arguments apply to humans too i listen no okay i get that but like you think that's like if they're putting the resources into these androids to go out into the world you would think that they would just automatically be programmed to do what they're supposed to do and not wait a whole year <laughs> with the, wh wh hello well also also they're not living in like in like a dormitory or in like like factory closets or whatever they have like an apartment they, yeah, they have a private residence if so they're they, not making rent how are they feeding their cat 
Well, they they did. There there was a throwaway line about how does that thing keep getting in here? So I assume they aren't oh. feeding the cat. That's just okay, hanging I mean, out. Okay. But uh, I missed that. But still. but uh, but but anyway, we'll uh, we'll get we'll get to the weirdness later. We need to get through this rundown. Everybody, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Okay. That's why I'm saying we got to get back Shut to up. it. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it becomes apparent. Hey, we have to get jobs, or we'll all die. Um, and just then, the big, the uh, fat orange cat that hangs out with them sits on the remote, and their uh, TV comes on with an advertisement for Babel, which is an entertainment complex where you anybody can enter, and um, for every floor you clear by vote of the audience you uh claim a reward and move up to a floor so they go okay great we'll do that <laughs> so they get on their jet ski to do, go do that so the only thing i actually really like about this show is the environment design because it looks like kind of nice it's got like a weird sailor moon palette to it like old sailor moon um mm -hmm. i thought the environment design was abysmal hmm. Um, I also. Well, I'm just talking about colors. Fight, fight, fight. Color, color schemes. Yes. It was at um, this point that I felt that the anime had an affect of a stoner comedy. <laughs> it does feel like that. They're all dipshits. But... Yeah, right. <laughs> kind of. So they take their jet ski out to. The... Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they're what? They're they're four tandem jet ski. Yeah, they're four person jet ski, but. <laughs> Uh, out there uh, to uh, to Babel, and they're just like, uh, I thought it would be humans only, but they didn't even check us, and they get in the elevator, and apparently what the deal is is when they get out, there's a little foyer, and then they'll, uh, they'll enter a stage, and they do their performance. Uh, and they, they go out on stage, and uh, it's sort of a virtual reality situation uh, with a bunch of little drones watching, and... Uh, and it shows like people at home, like regular ass people who are much more interesting than any of the <laughs> <laughs> any of the main cast, uh -huh. just hanging out and watching performances. And it's clearly their job to just vote uh, on what they like. And they're just like, okay, let's do it. Uh, and they begin performing, all of them individually, just different things. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time they're doing like like terror like old japanese children's songs and the the green-haired guy is just fucking he starts break dancing. he's just break dancing. he's just windmilling at incredible speed <laughs> behind I need, you, I need you to know i started laughing so hard when he started break dancing <laughs> i was gonna cry you don't know how excited i was for this because i was like i know what's happening next they're gonna form <laughs> they're gonna form an idol band Mm -hmm. Um, so God, I just want a video of that guy when milling with like some fucking <laughs> some like drum and bass or sewer slot over it, and he's like, <laughs> uh, so not not to cut out like the next part about what happens, but like, how did this get voted out the first round? <laughs> <laughs> I would have kept this going. You know, you know, if he'd gone out there by himself, he probably would have made the next. <laughs> It'd be so funny. Okay, like, oh, I have to write this down, and I'll get to it after the rundown. But mm -hmm. I just have, I have so notes for happens. the script. So it goes, it goes poorly. <laughs> Most yeah. people are just like, "Boo, hiss, we hate your pussy, get out." Um, mm -hmm. uh, and the they just dump them through a tube in the floor back into the lobby, which I quite like. Uh, yeah, Cobalt's that was head comes off again. Yep, pops his head off again. <laughs> Very funny. And they come out and they're just like, well, I don't understand. We we all sang with perfect pitch and uh, and dance according to our programming. <laughs> and they stop and they watch somebody ascending to the top of the tower, which is... Um... <laughs> <laughs> These three guys are like dressed in some sort of like fascist visual key get-ups. <laughs> yeah, I don't... They got it's... epaulettes. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's, it's a, it's very Japanese. There's, th there's these two little spicy blonde guys on each side, and then, and then the dark Anna guy in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was the other way around. Um, no, that's not why. That's just wrong. Um, anyway, hang on. So, uh, 
I just saw him. His name's Kite. And he has yeah, black I thought hair. he was. The, I thought. I clearly have memory issues. Don't worry, we all have memory issues. That's why this is fucking breakdown is taking so long. Um. <laughs> So anyway, they're watching. They're just like, oh, what do they have that we don't have? Oh, well, let's go home to quietly await oblivion. (laughs) When the power company shuts off the electricity. Guess we'll die. (laughs) Guess we'll fucking die. Um, So so on their way back, they notice. uh, Oh, and there was a scene in here that we completely skipped over where another nearly indistinguishable kid. Uh, with black hair has is waiting in a lobby and a little robot come out and t- just says the cremation cremation is finished the cremation is finished right oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah and, are you family it's just like yeah kind of there's <laughs> so much going on here so uh so when they're on their way back with the jet ski they see uh the object this kid was holding it strikes one of them in their head and they're like what the hell is this and they see the kid up there on the bridge pass out immediately he just falls and they're just like oh shit <laughs> uh so they go scrape him off the pavement and take him to a nearby like park with some shade and they explain that it's like too hot for regular people to just walk around in the mm-hmm. middle of the day without uh- protection <laughs> The sun is expanding. The sun the is sucks. a deadly laser. Um, <laughs> there is no ozone layer. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, after he wakes up, he's just like, where am I? Who are you? <laughs> am I dead or alive? Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the robots are like, we should sing that song. And then the episode ends. God. Um, so, yeah, he, he wakes up and he's just like, and they're just like, you drop this. And he's like, I want that shit. And he's like, oh, okay. And she's like, you guys are androids, right? I can just tell you my secrets and nobody, and you won't tell anybody. He's just like, oh, yeah, technically. And she's like, can I tell you guys something? And they just, they're all just silent because they're machines. They're not people. Mm-hmm. They're just was, fucking machines. At this point, I thought he was going to say, I killed my dad. I killed my dad. <laughs> the cremation is complete. The cremation is complete. That's <laughs> um, so much worse. Uh, <laughs> oh no don't worry it'll get worse later uh <laughs> so uh so yeah they're just like yeah i guess and he's just like my it was my dad's funeral today and i'm fucked up about it because he was like a workaholic and they're like oh because okay. they because they have no empathy <laughs> they don't understand what's going on yeah uh, he's just like, hey, this thing was a letter that isn't even addressed to me. And the, the, he hands it to Cobalt, and he's just like fucking with it. Like a like a naughty child playing mm-hmm. with something he doesn't understand. Uh, and he, he like twists it a, a different way, and it shows a video that's clearly of the of the young man as an even younger child. And it's like a home video, and they're just like, he's just like, maybe he has complicated emotions about it. And Cobalt, we ha- hadn't discussed possibly his his outburst about being called oni chan is the sim- a symptom of his weird programming quirk of being a- activated like a sleeper agent by the word family <laughs> <laughs> so he's super down to help this kid like figure out his trauma <laughs> mm-hmm. and there's just like i know what we'll do we'll go look we'll go look for the park where you uh uh, where this was taken and will help you recover your memory. Cause they had a little conversation about like, why do humans need entertainment? Oh, why do they think the same experience? Because they forget their memories over time. So on like that. Um, so he's just like, put in a request for it. These, these guys barely have like free will. It seems yeah. like, because they need to be told to do things. They had to they be, a, to their fucking AI, uh, their Alexa at their house had to issue them a work order to go find work to pay the fucking electric bills. That's, that's my problem with yeah. world building. Why didn't someone tell them that first thing and putting them into the world? It's re- it really is chat GP- <laughs> GPT. <laughs> just <laughs> just yeah. in a human body. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> So uh, he he begs him to give them a work order for that. And he's just like, sure, I guess. Uh, and they put a stupid little cape on him to keep him from frying like an egg under the 
expanding Apocalyptic sun. sun. <laughs> <laughs> under the her, under the the horror of the red giant in the sky. Mm -hmm. um, that puts that at like ten billion years from now. <laughs> by the way, yeah. Unless something um, weird happened to the sun. Unless something odd happened. Yeah. Um, so uh, they go out and they they search a bunch. They do a montage and they search every park and they're just like, we can't find the park. Oh, that's sad. And he's just like, wait a second. This was when you were a kid. And then, so they go look. They they go find the park because it's flooded. He he looks for <laughs> flooded parks and he's just it's like, it's this one. And he's just like, oh, I remember we got the ice cream here and then I fell down and busted my ass. But my dad wasn't mad at me about it. Mm. <laughs> so we really were a family. <laughs> Um, they're just like, that's cool. And he, he, he gets fucked up about it and he, and he hums a little song and then they get really creepy. They get oh my God. They this was my get, favorite. They get activated and it, and it's, and it scared me a little, <laughs> it made me recoil it, it like, a little. It zooms into one of their eyeballs and the little things are swirling around in there. Yeah, exactly. And then they're, they're, they're all just motionless jaw flapping the, the song. <laughs> Imagine... If I was that kid, I would have just bolted. <laughs> okay, imagine witnessing this happening, but at five times speed. Oh, God. Because <laughs> that was my experience. Oh, oh man. Lord. That's what I. That's why I said when you came in, Mags, uh, off air, uh, that it was going slow but fast. Slow fast. Um, Is it just me? Yeah. Did they sound really bad when they were singing? They sounded pretty, they sounded bad, pretty bad, and they looked and they looked pretty creepy to the point where I was just like audibly just like ah oh god ah. <laughs> so that scene ends mercifully. Um, it, it's not as, just an ending; it's a hard cut into the next thing. It's a hard cut into the next scene where they they're seeing this kid off on like a bus, and uh, and Cobalt gets the bright idea to just be like, "Hey, we should go do the do the Babel again." And they're just like, "Why?" It's just like we could sing that song together, like we did at the beach for no reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're just like, "Oh yeah, four people singing together. That's what the other other guys did." And then they go and then they go to Babel and do an entire K-pop routine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I like how they conveniently had the choreography like ready for they, themselves. Yeah, they, yeah. They got they worked out the choreography. They added lyrics. <laughs> See, once oh, listen, once they heard that song, they activated in their routine, <laughs> unlocked you, the K-pop routine. Yeah, but there was like a scene where it went into Cobalt's eye and unlocked that's what some I'm sort saying. of golden crystal in his brain. Yeah, I'm, that's why I uh, like. I think that. The song just literally unlocked the dance routine in them. I just, I just wanted it to zoom back out and for him to just be like, "Ah, yes, become as gods." Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm a little disappointed that I didn't remember that the uh, the scene with the them seeing the kid off happened because I li literally like I remember it happening as them singing like by the riverside <laughs> and then it just hard cutting into them performing at the fucking. Maybe that would have been a... to just skipped over it for you. Would have been so that that would have been a. That would have been an acceptable edit, to be real. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, they people like it, I guess. They move up, uh, and that's that's basically the end of the episode. Yeah, and the they play the credits. rival group. Uh, is yeah, like, it, ooh, we've got competition. It, Wink, happy face. Like, like not really. Uh, anyway, uh, whatever. Uh, but anyway, the credits roll, and it's the end of the episode, and nothing else happens. <laughs> And that's it. That's the whole show. And then, and then the post credit scene. <laughs> uh, Samuel L. Jackson shows up with a briefcase. He gets eaten by a shark. Um, yeah. Oh man! <laughs> so they're on their way back on the on the jet ski, which makes me laugh every time I see him. <laughs> Uh, in the nighttime, and they're just like, it's like that was pretty cool. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Uh, it wasn't enough to pay the electric bill, but yeah, maybe next time. Uh, and the guy driving is just like, just like stops it. Which, by the way, you can't just like stop watercraft. I want to like say that. something about this watercraft real quick, which it just occurred to me is that either it implies there are no roads, or that they are not allowed to drive on roads. That's true. Yeah, they're. <laughs> Yeah. Literally be any of they're not of. they're not allowed to drive where real people are yeah. um, <laughs> um but anyway uh but they stop and he's just like somebody's laying down over there and they're just like oh shit another collapsed person and they go find him and he's just like a drunk you so, know wow. like sometimes they're drunk. smells like alcohol mm -hmm. come here old man and they, they try and help him because they're just like 
I think I think the implication is it's like you can't sleep here, man. It's gonna get real hot when the sun comes up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, you will bake. And some 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 fucking robs come out. Some robots. Yeah. <laughs> some robots. They do. Look, they're little like actual robots. Little actual robots that look like the fucking <laughs> fucking Nintendo robot. Yes. Um, and they come out. Hey, Mister Mister, where are you? Uh, I thought this was pretty cute to begin with, and they pick him up and take him, they like help him away, and he's like, "What the hell are you doing?" And it seems like that should be the end, but it, it cuts back to them, and Cobalt is holding uh, is holding a ball cap in his hand, and he's just like, "Oh God, it's that guy's hat." Oh, he probably he's probably in the he factory over there. Back, yeah, well, I'm probably give it back to him. So they they go over there and they're just like, "Will we get in trouble for sneaking in here?" It's just like, "No, we'll just explain it." And they're they're trying to find this guy, and uh, it's it's like an industrial park in here, mm-hmm. and they just hear like a scream, like Doppler effect past them, and they're just like, "What the hell was that?" And they look over the edge, and there's just like a pit of like molten metal at the bottom, and you just see a silhouette turning to ash. In there. <laughs> you see and they this look. Guy's pants like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then you look. They they look up and they see one of the robs just standing on a on a balcony, having clearly shoved this old man into the soup. Shoved him into the lava. <laughs> and I was I'm sitting here just going like, "What the fuck did I just? Say? What is happening? Okay, why is the tone so different? So the cremation is complete. The cremation is complete. I didn't know about this and. I had to be redirected to the episode and told to watch past the credits. I could have gone without knowing about this. I was trying desperately to get them to not tell you so that we could break the news to you. That would have been funny. Yeah. So, so yeah, was... that's, that's... That was not a good <laughs> Roundabout started playing. I disagree. I think it's the best show of 2023. I'm going to say this right now. <laughs> this show did make me laugh hysterically at it least had, twice. So. It had it, it had everything. It had nonsensical world building. It had a Sailor Moon color palette. <laughs> yeah. like, don't, I'll say this. The the moment color coded characters showed up, the I was sold. Yeah. Listen, almost everything about this show kind of sucked. Not sitting, gonna lie. Sitting at a at a <laughs> sitting at a uh, fucking handy five point sixty three on my analyst. <laughs> Yeah, I want to say that like, uh, was it Cobalt looked like he's fucking a mascot for some like piece of enterprise software? Yeah, he looks like that's really. He looks like he was designed by somebody who worked for Yamaha. Yeah, Uh (laughs) Um, he looks like he's the he looks like he's the mascot for a Fruity Loops plugin. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) this this guy looks like if uh, Internet Explorer decided he is. He is internet. <laughs> He's an internet explorer, explorer Gajinka. Yeah, he is. He, he, that's exactly what he looks like. I I want to say also that like I did some research and this was an Android game. Um, before yeah, it was an anime, and I tried to figure out sense. what the fucking like gameplay for this game would have been because the screenshots on Google <laughs> Play are not telling me anything, and I found a like. Uh, like VTuber playing it, and it just feels like multiple layers of hyper reality. <laughs> I'm losing That's it. That's really weird. Um, yeah, the background section on my anime list adds that the, this is a mixed media um, uh, media mix project, and will include an anime game and music, is what it says. So like, They're diversifying know. their assets. Is this like VTuber bejeweled? <laughs> This, okay, this was trying to be so many things because, like, okay, you get into the world and they're they're trying to do like a water world thing. So, like, that's yeah. like uh, no Kevin Costner. <laughs> that's that. But then they're also trying to do the Don Machi thing where you have to go into a dungeon and pass through levels. So then there's there's that. But then they're also trying to do like a Vocaloid thing. I I, I don't. They're they're an idol band and there's that and all like but also the robots also the robots but are also evil the robots are murdering people by throwing them into lava <laughs> i have a feeling that scene won't be explained for the rest of the show <laughs> rendering, rendering them into soup <laughs> but also like there's also a, like a mystery plot with the child and the child's dad i guess question mark i 
I, I have, I, I have no, he's, ideas. he's next for the soup. Like, I have, I have <laughs> notes about soup. this, and one of my notes is that they should have leaned into the stoner comedy aspect of it. <laughs> they really should have. Yeah, should have been like they go to like um this like Babel thing, and it's like hyped up, and they practice and stuff, and then you watch their like, like the whole episode is them practicing, and you think it's going to be great, and then they do it, and it's mm. awful. And then everybody, everybody jokingly says excellent because they're humans, they're in on the bit. Mm. It's like a sort of vote for the worst scenario. And then all the answers yeah. at the top are getting anxious because the humans are so fickle and they <laughs> think it's funny, so they keep voting it up. And then <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, see, that, that was we, we, like, very fucking and, like, funny. They're not actually like human validation is meaningless. We've, we've, we've written an, a better anime. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, also, like, Oh man, there's so much about this that I still. Did anyone catch the piece of world building towards the beginning that was like, so the world government? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, the world government. That's always fun. I find it so like okay, this has got to be a dystopia, right? Because I don't know if it's like a cultural difference, the connotation of a world government. Because I know that like in North America, there's like, I mean, so many people are against the idea of a world government for like esoteric typical <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, also, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. There's <laughs> also that this show is just, like, a really fucked up, like, evil mirror universe, like, version of Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko, which is, like, a really good show, <laughs> like, right. manga yeah. and OVA. Yeah. Just I was a, thinking that, too. slow apocalypse uh, sort of uh, thing. Yeah, about, about androids hanging out when most of humanity is dead, yeah. but it's mm -hmm. actually, you know, worth a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, that, okay, so here, okay, we go back around again to why did these androids get made? Why are they living in a house? Were they made my house? To, to be a little... I, I assume I assume that when everybody noticed the sun was expanding, they just sort of started doing whatever the fuck they wanted. So so somebody yes. some people made a bunch of a androids to fuck, but there's they, then they you know <laughs> died or something, and <laughs> they're just and sort the of androids are born. behaving. Like, what am I supposed to do? Just behaving arbitrarily. <laughs> who's okay? And also, who's running the electrical company? Is that why they're melting all the humans? That, yeah, they're, they're powered by. <laughs> <laughs> the power that humans being put into the middle soup. I assume what the deal is with this, even though they didn't really get it across, is that like that guy being a drunken like like homeless person just flagged him for disposal. Okay. <laughs> this is when we find in like a soil and green way. <laughs> what Joey? Hmm? What were you no, gonna I, say? I was, I was done. Oh, I was gonna say. Uh, oh, I don't even remember anymore. God damn it! This episode was a lot. There's so much going on. There's here. so much happening. Um, Can I can't we talk get about over the 3D animation because it wasn't good. It, 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 okay, well, let's put it this way: like, it wasn't. It wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. It was like nothing. It, just, <laughs> it was. It, it was there. Like, it felt like something that I would see in, on YouTube. They they like plugged in the models in to Miku Miku dance, and then yes, they did exactly. nothing to the resulting footage. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> so like it, the the dance is smooth and everything, but like who cares? Smoother than the rest of the ship. It looks it looks bad. <laughs> like the scene the scene is uninspired. Yeah. Also, is that all humanity does is just sit around and watch these shows? That's a, that's all not, they have left to do? Well, presumably not. Like whenever it showed the the montage of people watching the show, they were doing all kinds of shit. They were just like some people were like cooking and some people were just like vegged out. I I would assume that at least one of those people as soon as the camera left for them reaches reached over and got a joint out of an ashtray. <laughs> like <laughs> We're like, yeah, that was pretty fun, man. It's just like, okay, man. Get some weird gone. shit on today. And that's that's their oh, life. Oh, um, man. But the, the, the real thing that I can't get over is like the expanding sun. <laughs> the expanding sun. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, sh I, I guess I should say that uh, since I did watch this at five times speed, I did miss the beginning of, with the expanded sun comment. That well, that's the thing. It does. It doesn't, doesn't appear in the show. It's it in doesn't. the blurb. It's, it's in the blurb, and it's implied by the fact that 
they keep saying nope humans can't go outside for long yeah <laughs> that makes sense i wasn't i mean it doesn't make sense yeah. but it makes sense well, they specifically say global warming i think is the term yeah and, i do know, remember that describing like just... the cities being underwater I just wouldn't have figured global warming would equal the sun gets bigger. Oh, that's the, well, that no, that's the thing. It's like this is clearly not human caused global warming. This is the natural life cycle of the sun. Global yeah, warming. Is, so it's got to. So the show has to be set uh, at least five billion years from now. God. <laughs> Uh, depend, depending on how close the sun is, it could be anywhere from five to seven point seven. Uh, although I assume the I assume it will be would have been very much more apparent the closer to seven point seven it got. Yeah, no. Here's that's the other thing is like the sun like the just from laser. the aesthetics of the show didn't look different. It didn't look like, that close. <laughs> Also, everything looked the same. Like that was another. Like this was a very samey, samey. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, there's nothing. There's nothing for me here, other than like a a, a mild appreciation for the color palette they chose, yeah. and only for the environment, not for the characters or the effects. <laughs> yeah. Um, but also, like, okay, to illustrate my point, if you look at the thumbnails on my anime list. <laughs> they're different like these are different, different episodes. episodes and <laughs> they look like they are taken moments <laughs> apart from each other oh that's fucked up uh, because no. everything looks the same no no more no, <laughs> no more you know like uh so would you guys watch another episode of yes uh, of I, I would like what, what the fuck to, is the show called? I, I would I would like to watch this with the headcanon that they're not actually robots. That's just it's just a fucking like um Final Fantasy House situation. Whatever that was called. Cobalt His head came Cobalt's yeah, head it's comes just off. been non diegetic. And electricity comes out of his neck. It's just been non diegetic, <laughs> like, oh, this is like what they're saying is happening. I don't know. Because it doesn't really make they sense activated. given the current like world that they're in, that they live in a big house. It's I think not it's going a lot to make to, sense. Yeah, no, I think I like it's it. a lot to ask for it to make yeah. sense. I like it. I like it in a sense of a universe of, of a world in which humanity's population is so low that we just have like rogue androids living in the remains of people's yeah. houses. Yeah, like that house, like, they didn't like buy no, that house it. or anything. They just moved they in. Found it. Whoever used to live there had a heat stroke and died. Yeah, they, and they they haven't moved them. He's just in a different room. Oh, it's been it's been thirty decades since then. He's turning into dust. <laughs> they can't touch him because of their programming, so they just leave him in the fucking like bathroom. They don't need to use the bathroom anyways. Yeah, that's where he died because they don't go in there. Yeah. So. Wait a minute, is this just stray? Yeah, I'm this might just be Stray. Yeah. Um, but I, the thing is, is I like the robots from Stray. Yeah. So I anyway. I don't know if I can... I, I, even considering the demented twist at the end, I don't know how much more... Man, it's a I really good do. hook. I'm going to uh, up the ante here and say, I'm going to watch the rest of the series tonight. All right, well, tell us what happens. <laughs> yeah. There's only like three episodes you, you, out right yeah, now. Yeah, so. oh, is there... Yeah, I'm pretty I, sure. I don't know. It, it was really weird. I'm inclined to say no, but this the stinger at the end. The hook was good though. The, the stinger at the thing. end made me look at it and say, "Igarashi, <laughs> what's I'm happening?" I'm sure that's never going to get re reference. <laughs> no, I, I, there's so just going to be. Funny if they never not, reference it again, they, it they never talk funny. about it again. There's just less and less audience as time goes on. <laughs> Just like our show. Anyway, uh, if you'd like to, uh, if you, if you'd, <laughs> I don't even know where to go with this. If you want to be ready for the cremation. If you want <laughs> if, to push us into lava right if now. If you would like to push us into a big tank of molten metal, like the fucking Terminator at the end of T2, uh, you can do that at one episode cast at gmail.com. That is one the word, not the number. Hey, you can also uh, destroy us on Twitter. <laughs> but only if you're a robot. Uh, we are at one episode cast. 
I never explained why I don't like Cobalt. And I think it's just because he's loud. <laughs> yeah, he's a little obnoxious. He's loud and, like, too energetic, uh, while at the same time being completely deadpan. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he's a little cringe. Listen. It's fine. He's activating that, like, uncanny valley thing of, like, this is not a real person. This is a thing wearing a person's skin. He's an internet explorer Gajinka. Like, what do you expect from him? <laughs> this did. Parts of it reminded me of dramatical murder, not in a good way. <laughs> oh, man, I, I, do, I do want to just throw that out there. I don't know anything about dramatical murder other than the fact that somebody be uh, fucking a dog in that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> no, I'm leaving. I refuse the to comment. Any further. <laughs> 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 <laughs>